hello and welcome everyone to this video tutorial finally so what I'm gonna do is explain how to move from Cinema 4D to Maya and it might help even people who want to move from Maya to Cinema 4D uh, what I should say is that I've been trying to learn this software for a really long time and the first day I wasn't even able to get to the to modify the polygons on a cube so that was really frustrating so first you open Maya you get it just like this I'm gonna explain in a little bit the details and here I have Cinema 4D open just like you would open it when you first install it <coughs> you get it just wait let me center this you get it just just like this So, uh, <coughs> I will start by adjusting some things in Maya first, uh, and that is get the this thing in Cinema 4D, which is, I believe it's called an outliner, where you get all the, your objects, so you can see what you are actually dragging to the scene. To do that, you go to, I believe, I forgot to say that I did not plan this. I was gonna plan it and I started writing some things here and then I thought it's just gonna be pain so I'm just gonna dive in it. So to get the, this bar right here you go to modify, not modify windows and then you go to outliner and this is it. You get four, just ignore these, I have no idea what they do. I guess these are just the views so you grab this and plug it in here and that's number one you should do <coughs> now if I <coughs> uh, I think the standard here the layout the standard layout is the modeling one so you already get these here but so you just click them and you drop objects into the scene and in case you don't get this you can go to create and they are all right here polygon primitives <coughs> I need some water so um, <coughs> let me think right so we got the outliner if we drop a cube here we get it um, <coughs> So it's right here. Now you can see that you actually have your object that you have, you have in your scene are right here in the outliner. Same thing in Cinema 4D as you all know when you drag something over here you get it here. <coughs> so that's done. Let's move on. Uh, next thing. Mm. Uh, navigation. Let's say not navigation. Moving and the stuff. So for Cinema 4D you have, let's say, we have this cube we have these options right here to select and move, scale and rotate they are all over here where you get them in Maya they are over here this is to select let's uh, get something else this you can select to with it and uh, this is the scale, uh, no this is the moving I guess you can move and this is rotation and this is the scale so what else we should say is uh, there are shortcuts I think Z, Z E and R, T I guess you check these out I'm, I just I don't memorize them I just press and get the one I want like this when I see the one I want I just use it so that's it let's move on <coughs> this tutorial is gonna be really basic just to get you going because really really it was really frustrating for me so uh, in Cinema 4D if you wanna get access to the to move in the points you can go to edit right here and then you come here and choose what you wanna edit and as we said you can select points by the select tool and just move them and up to this point I have not modified, I have not moved the, uh, I mean I have not talked about the, the navigation yet, so we're gonna talk about that later. Let's get this over first. 
because it's important so uh, edges are right here <coughs> and polygons are here so they are all right here if you want to do the same in Maya well um, I have no idea where they are in the in the this bar or whatever <coughs> but I know that I can right click and hold and just choose one vertexes for example and then you can move them you go to face to go back to objects mode is right here objects mode in cinema 4d is right here so this is objects points edges and <coughs> polygons I'm sorry guys for coughing too much <coughs> So that's done. Uh, what else? I think let's, let's grab another cube. Let's talk about navigation. So um, in Cinema 4D, there is this thing right here that helps a lot. But I think they are the same. You just um, if you don't want to use these, you just hold Alt and left click to rotate. Click. So rotate and uh, I think L Alt and the middle mouse button to move and Alt right click to zoom in and out. So that's for Cinema 4D. You lift and lift. I mean Alt and lift click and move. Lift uh, Alt middle mouse button and move. You just move and Alt right mouse button and move you just zoom in and out let's move to my so here you have alt same thing alt left mouse button I mean right mouse button sorry you zoom in and out with the left mouse button with alt pressed left mouse button you just rotate and the middle button just helps you move great now let's So I just realized that navigation, navigation options, I got them all wrong maybe, but just hold alt, it's the only key, and use your mouse, just left mouse button, right mouse button, and the middle mouse button. You will figure them out by yourself, I think they are really easy. So as we said, we're gonna move to modeling, so, so get to do not get lost, we're gonna start here in Cinema 4D where all you modeling tools you can get them here by right clicking and holding it you get uh, the most useful ones are bridge and dissolve and line <coughs> and loop and weld and slide so um, let me choose where do I start I will just show you where they are. Let's 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 move something here and use them so that you can see what they do. So if we are in points mode, what do we get? We get the bridge, which we can use just like this. Just choose two points and then two points. We find uh, dissolve, which is used to remove edges without uh, removing the whole mesh. You just double click to select the loop and yeah, you got to dissolve like this. Okay, let's pick these two bridge and the uh, removing edge. Let's move to my. So let's say I have this thing right here. Let me create a. How do we do that? I have the same thing just like in Cinema 4D and let's remove this. So to bridge, you just okay. First, where all all the modeling tools are, they are all up here, or you can get them over here, or you can hold Shift and right click uh, with with edge selected or something, edge or points or <coughs> or face. Hold Shift and right click. Here you get all of them. So. Um, Excuse me. So, to in order to bridge, you have to have already selected the two edges you want to bridge. So you select them, holding Shift, and then you hold Shift, right click, 
and go down to bridge and let go that's gonna bridge them okay that's done let's move to edge mode as we said and let's see how we remove so I believe if you just delete the edges they give you the results you want but they leave the points over here so let's go back to edge mode get our edge back by pressing ctrl z and uh, now let's I think it's control and uh, erase that gets rid of the points as well let's do that again double click select the edge loop control and erase that gets rid of the points as well so that's dissolved in cinema 4d moving on let's see what it is here so there is edge cut uh, which is used to maybe just as an example if you want to add some edges like this and you have to uncheck this to see them so same thing in Maya uh, to be honest I'm not gonna cover all the modeling tools because if you know what these do you can easily know what these ones do excuse me these ones so I'm just gonna I mean the important is that you know where they are at and that's the only thing that is important so let's see how we can connect these the same way I did before select the edges we go to the connect tool and hold the mouse button and click to, de to define exactly how much you want all right let's see something else that is important oh the the cut the line cut or the loop cut I for cinema 4d there is a line cut and there is a loop cut I think they are the same in a uh, in Maya they are both in the same place so the line just cuts in the line and the loop goes around let's see that in Maya so to do that you just hold shift right click uh, with net selected and go to um, what are we doing uh, multi, multi cut and here you have the the cuts like in cinema 4d this one line cuts but in Maya if you hold shift uh, not shift control you have the loop cut and that's it all right so let's say modeling is over and the important is that you just know where all these are <coughs> if no you know how they work in cinema 4d you will know how they work here one more thing uh, if you want to do something like this in cinema 4d let me show you if you have a cube and we model something here like this and we want to preview subdivision so in cinema 4d we press here come here and there you go that creates subdivision surface for you in Maya there is a preview which you can do by pressing number 3 in your keyboard like this to go back to the normal view you just press 1 3 and 1 and you still can modify everything here as you want but if you want to uh, make a, like a permanent, permanent uh, subdivision you select faces and the right click and come down here to subdivide if you want them to be sm smooth you just come to options and use smooth subdivision and bam there you have it now to do that in, in Maya let's go back to the normal mode and maybe extrude these it's right here subdivide Oh, we have to have everything so selected no not this one this one I'm sorry this one subdivides 
yeah that's that's the one and you can also have it here somewhere reduce smooth faces okay so the one the first one here I think there are some options to the division if you want to have like more than one subdivision at the same time there it is so that's it um thank you for watching i'm sorry if i made you more confused about my <laughs> but my goal was to show you every, where everything is because it's a little tricky you see people just pressing buttons and getting these things this is really was really frustrating for me and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one and uh, please if you find this a little bit helpful um drop a like and leave a comment even if you think it's trash just tell me and tell me what to change or what to do next time and hopefully i'm gonna be starting make start to making uh, more maya videos because i want to learn it more and uh, let me maybe show you something that i did here this is um this is a model um, i made for a game i did the all the topology in here as you can see it's Maya is just you know life saving Cinema 4D is just <laughs> you know it's not that professional in uh, it's good for production but it's not that good for modeling tools and stuff so thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time